decent crowd here this weekend in Portugal for round five, just because, uh, you know... Especially because of the weather. Especially because of the weather, and it's, you know, I'm pleased that they've turned out as well, because if one event needs this kind of support, it's, you know, it's Portugal. Having been off the calendar for a few years and then coming back um, last year, but Jonas under attack once more from Seba Bryukov. There's his teammate Ben Watson up in the opposite turn closing in on Jed Beaton all the time. The track a lot more open. What's the lap time, actually? 1.54.4 was the fastest lap time at the start of the race. Lap three, actually, from uh, Jorge Prado. It was a 56.4 in race one, so a lot quicker because of the work that's happened and the drying conditions here. I wonder if we can get a slightly wider camera shot there because Thomas Erkej Olsen was half a second slower on that last lap. I mean, it's, it's almost nothing, but, you know, if these two are closing up on the back of the Husqvarna, then we could get a really nice race for second place, Paul, which could, like, have some big podium implications. There he is, the, yeah. the Dane at the bottom of the shot. What is the, uh, at the moment, uh, three seconds clear of these well, guys at the Watson. moment? <laughs> Long look over the shoulder there from Jed Beaton. He goes defensive, too defensive, perhaps. Watson using that inside line all day. Making it. Oh, I thought he was going to make a run back up the inside there, Jed Beaton, but uh, we've got to change four. Fourth then, Watson. Now, on that Camille Yamaha goes past the Australian on the F and H. Kawasaki, who looks to get those elbows out, tries to run it up the inside of uh, what he would regard as a pommy. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm really impressed with Ben Watson this year. He's working with Jackie Vimon in the Kamea Yamaha, and he's got a lot of kind of support in that team. He's got kind of the whole package that he really needs to show what he can do. I mean, he lost the whole season with that broken foot in 2016, was, I think. 